This video is about the Stripe payment method for MemberPress. So the first thing we're going to do, as with the other payment methods, is we're going to click the plus button here and select the gateway that we're interested in, in this case it's Stripe. And this time I'm going to name it Stripe Credit Card. And you'll see the first things here are, you know, test secret, test publishable, live secret, live publishable, test mode, uh, force SSL, send debugs, and Stripe webhook. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is locate our uh, test secret and live secret, well, the, just all the different keys. Now the way we do that is we go into our Stripe dashboard here, and we go ahead and click on our account settings here. Then we click on the API keys and you can see all of the API keys here. So let's let's copy and paste these. We're going to be doing this in test mode, of course. And again, uh, we're not going to use force SSL on this because uh, there's no Currently, I don't have an SSL certificate set up on the demo site, but if you do have your website available uh, as HTTP and HTTPS, well, HTTPS is effectively SSL, then you can click this option and the user can browse the page, they can go to the product registration, but when they're asked to enter their credit card information, uh, MemberPress will automatically uh, enforce the SSL version of the page. For now we're not going to use that. And now what we need to do is set up a Stripe webhook URL. So we're going to um, copy that and we're going to go back to the Stripe dashboard here and go into webhooks. And we're going to add another webhook here. And we're going to make sure it's a test webhook because we're in test mode. If you were in live, of course, you'd, you'd make sure it's a live uh, webhook. One thing to note is that sometimes when people move from test mode to live mode, they forget to ensure that they have a live webhook. And so you need to make sure that, that when you move to live, don't forget to go into your webhook settings and create a new webhook that's live. All right, so now we have a webhook in Stripe, so we are set to go. And let's save our settings here. Okay, now let's uh, try this out. All right. And on our payment methods down here, we have Stripe credit card listed. And let's sign up. And we just need to set this sometime in the future. And this can be any three or four digit code. And let's hit submit. And we are at the thank you page now. So let's go back and take a look in our admin. Let's first look at the subscriptions. And we can see here that a subscription, a unique subscription was created. It's active. It is set up properly. And it even has one month of access. Now, in the transactions department, you'll see that a transaction has actually gone through. And actually, the PayPal transaction has gone through now, too. But the, the Stripe transaction went through. And... For some reason, Stripe usually comes back much faster with the transaction than, uh, say, Authorize or even PayPal, uh, which usually batch them. But technically, it has 24 hours to issue the first uh, actual charge on the credit card. And so the, so the system will still exhibit the same behavior as with the other uh, two gateways. It will still get grant 24 hours of, uh, of access to the user 
and um, if there is a failed transaction that goes through, it'll automatically uh, MemberPress will automatically void that subscription so that they can't see it uh, or have access anymore. And so it's really pretty easy and uh, pretty nice to work with. And so that's uh, that's Stripe.